Everybody wants to move to LA, or at least wanted to. In case you haven't heard, LA really isn't that great anymore. In fact, according to recently released census data, more people are moving from the LA area than moving to it. 100,000 people left Los Angeles County last year, the biggest drop in the nation for any county. People in LA are moving to Oregon, Texas, Arizona, and Nevada the most, or they're just moving out of Los Angeles proper. Los Angeles still does have a high percentage of incoming foreign-born residents though, so it's not shrinking too quickly. And California as a whole is losing people too. Some have called California America's first third world state. A quarter of California's population lives in poverty and another 20% are close. A third of the nation's welfare recipients live here, as does 20% of the nation's homeless population. And LA, along with San Francisco, are the centers of the problems in what used to be the Golden State. There's a lot of reasons why people are leaving LA, and there are a lot of reasons why you shouldn't move there yourself. So the next time you think about moving somewhere warm, where the sun's a little shinier, and where the women are tanner, and life is glamorouser, think again, pal, because LA ain't what it's cracked up to be. If you're trying to rent a home or an apartment in Los Angeles, you're gonna have a hard time. LA is the fourth most expensive place to rent in the US. It's likely that you might wanna rent a home in LA because you're already struggling financially. And the cost to rent here doesn't help that. To get a decent place in LA, you'll have to spend about 2,500 a month minimum. And that's gonna get you a 900 square foot place without rent control, where your rent could go up an additional $100 a month next year. Now, when the average family income a year here is $60,000, and after take-home pay, you're bringing in about $47,000, you're gonna be spending about 63% of your income just on rent here. And that's if you're lucky enough to have two incomes. If you're living alone in LA, you're either broke or you have mommy and daddy's paycheck to fall back on. A decade ago, downtown Los Angeles was really just a ghost town. There wasn't much retail or food or anything of note except business offices. At night, it was eerily quiet. Then they came in and revamped downtown, and now it's got a lot more upscale living and things to do. But most of downtown LA, particularly, is a dump. Loose litter like beer cans, bulky items like mattresses, large trash bags, and weeds are terrible here. People just literally pull up in trucks and dump huge amounts of trash at all hours of the day. It's estimated that 5% of LA's 370 miles of roads are in horrible shape and constantly require immediate action. Another half of LA roadways are just quote unquote dirty. They're trying to clean it up as the city's installed 5,000 trash cans on LA city streets. The problem is people aren't using them. They're just throwing trash on the ground here. And the air pollution, though nothing like it was in the 80s when a kid couldn't literally breathe, is still ranked second worst in the nation. And they say California is a progressive, environmentally friendly state. Back when I lived in the LA metro area, rush hour was absolutely horrible. If you didn't leave at 6.30 a.m., forget it, you weren't getting to work on time. And you got home at 7 p.m., just enough time to have dinner and tuck the kids into bed. But after certain hours, say 9 p.m., you could still get around okay. Now, there is no light traffic ever here. It's always crowded. You could be driving at midnight and there's still gridlock. This snapshot of LA traffic was taken about 3.30 p.m. That's not even when rush hour is supposed to start. Los Angeles takes the king as the most congested city in the entire world where people spend an average of 128 hours a year sitting in their cars in traffic. That's 35 minutes a day, just in traffic. Everyone in LA is late to meet somebody. If you're there first, you just wait for the other person. So do you wanna live in a place where getting out of town's a nightmare or even running simple errands is a real headache? And the public transportation here really blows. There's a few light rails that are scattered throughout and the public buses are dirty and unreliable. And it always feels like the public transportation goes everywhere except where you aren't going. LA people are pretty self-absorbed. Everybody's too busy or too self-conscious to worry about you and I. In LA, people are also very rude. There's also a language barrier here, which makes things even worse. Manners are certainly lacking in LA proper. Travel and leisure called LA the fourth rudest city in the nation. It also ranks fifth on their list of the most unfriendliest cities. Isn't that sort of the same thing? Lots of people in LA want to be someone. 
They want to know somebody famous or they brag about the fact that they do know somebody famous. Snobby. And talk about rude. There's no holding doors or pleasantries here, pal. It's all about fighting over parking spaces and looking better than everyone else. That is, if you can afford to. Which brings us to the cost of living. Unless you're wealthy, LA is not fun. Now, we already talked about how expensive the rent is in LA, but the cost of buying a home is just crazy high. It is the ninth most expensive city in the nation, mind you, where the average cost of a home is $500,000. And that takes into account that much of LA proper is a real dump. So for a decent home, you're looking at more like 800 k It takes a yearly income of about $75,000 to live a somewhat decent life here. And as we stated before, the average cost of living is about a third less than that. With that overpriced home, what do you get? A smallish home with a teeny yard in a somewhat dilapidated neighborhood with a 99 cent store, a dirty bus stop or two, and sirens within earshot. Other costs that are way too inflated. A gallon of gas is close to four bucks. A loaf of bread's five bucks. A quarter pounder's five dollars. What the what the? A movie ticket's 16 bucks, and a yoga class is 20. But you have to go to yoga class here. That is, if you want to try to fit in. Everyone remembers how East LA and South Central LA were portrayed as real ghettos back in the day. Well, that's changed a little bit. At least East LA and South Central aren't quite as bad as they once were, at least with the gang activity. Places like Watts, Compton, Westlake, and Boyle Heights are crazy scary. Some have said that Los Angeles crime has gone down, and technically that is true, but not as much as you might think. See, it appears that for a long time, LA officials were undercounting the number of crimes here to make everything look better. A bunch of assaults were called minor offenses instead of violent crimes. Fact is, there are sirens and paramedics all over the place in LA every single night. LA is plain crowded. We already talked about how bad the traffic is here, but there's really nowhere to breathe in LA. Houses are stacked right next to each other. It has the second highest population in the country at 3.8 million. And if you took New York City out of the equation, five of the top 15 communities in the country are in the greater LA metro area. If you want to get out of the LA area for some relaxation, say at the beach or the mountains, good luck, pal. The beaches are horrendously crowded, where you pay about 10 to 20 bucks to park blocks from the beach, which is littered with trash. The mountain areas have graffiti everywhere. Public schools are terribly overcrowded too. Here in the LA Unified School District, the kids are given the benefit of the doubt and the parents are always right. The kids perform terribly. Schools have to stay open year round to alleviate the issues and they have to bus the kids far away from their neighborhoods, wherever there's room for them. Teachers claim to be underpaid and miserable. In this case, the more definitely isn't the merrier. LAX is just a joke of an airport, really. It's always been one of the most crowded airports in the nation before the recent construction has made it really unbearable. It used to be that it took maybe 20, 30 minutes to get in and out, but they're redoing a lot of the airport now to get ready to host the Olympics. Now it's hell getting in and out. And getting an Uber or Lyft is way hard now. You have to wait like an hour on a bus that then takes you to a pickup lot, where then you have to wait another hour or two for your Uber to show up. Locals know you don't fly in and out of LA. You use Orange County's John Wayne Airport, or even better, Ontario, which is two hours away because of traffic. People in LA live their own lives. Neighbors don't show you friendship or cooperation anymore here. Part of that's due to the city's really high diversity. It's a real mix of cultures here, and these cultures don't interact really at all, except at the local mom and pop Mexican joint. Me is what matters most in LA. You can see it by the way people just plain ignore each other in the bad areas and how people just stare at their phones in the fancy areas. And the sports team fan base is a shell of what it once was. It used to be that people rallied behind all of LA's winning teams. Then the Raiders left and they brought in the Chargers, which have the lowest fan base in the league. Dodger fans are fed up of high ticket prices and the violence in the parking lots. And the college sports teams of UCLA and USC suck in every single sport. LA's homeless population is just out of control. Since the 70s, Skid Row has been one of the neighborhoods with the largest homeless populations in America. The surrounding areas too, like the fashion district, are also deplorable. On any given night, 50 to 60,000 people may be found homeless in Los Angeles County. No wonder LA has the nation's fourth highest number of homeless people. Now to be fair, there are some reasons why LA is a good place. Two, actually. The weather here is pleasant for just about the entire year. It's relatively sunny and 
snows like once a decade for about a minute. You get some rain in the winter and that's really it. And summers aren't humid at all. The ocean water's cold though. And then there's the Mexican food. A blend of old school Mexico with an Americanized twist. You can live on the Mexican food here and be a very happy person. The smaller the restaurant, the better the burrito. LA is a very challenged city these days. Most people are broke and the ones who aren't are rude. Really, it's just a city full of lost souls. If you live in Los Angeles, you already know about these things. And if you've lived here long enough, you're either making plans to leave or you've just accepted the fact that Los Angeles isn't the most desirable place you can live, but for you, it's home. If you haven't been to LA, it's worth seeing, I suppose. Like San Francisco, eight hours away, you could stay busy for a few days looking at the stuff you've seen on TV or in the movies. But then you'll realize this definitely isn't a place you would want to live in forever. And you'll appreciate where you live even more. Because the California dream is fizzling out, folks. The end. California's so big and cool There's a lot of beaches where you can cool off The water's so cold here People want to move here Cause they think that it's so great here But it's crowded here Yes, it's crowded here Here, here, here It's crowded If you want to live the California dream, then they need more nice. Yes, they need more nice. California's hot and the people here are hot, except the ones that are not hot. They're the ones that are not hot. You can be a movie star or you can see a movie star, but they won't talk to you. Cause they're not into you. Sit in traffic, pay a lot for your house, enjoy the warm weather, try not to get crushed. Ah, oh, California. Hey guys, if you learned something new or you just like this video, make sure to like it. And if you really like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get all of our videos about what it's like to live in different places in America. Peace.